Hi all, in the last video we talked about the capabilities of Langchain and what Langchain could do. Additionally, we talked about why should you care about Langchain. In this particular video, we are going to utilize the capabilities of Langchain in order to build our own conversational bot. Additionally, we shall build an interface like ChatGPT in order to use our conversational bot. So let us get started. First of all, there are certain libraries that you need to install in order to make use of this conversational bot in order to build this conversational bot. I have already installed these libraries in my environment, so I'm not going to reinstall it again. These libraries such as Hugging Face Hub, Transformers, Langchain, Chainlit. Chainlit is a Python framework that enables you to create conversational interfaces. Okay, in order to test if our Chainlit has been successfully set up in the environment, we call the command Chainlit hello. Once I call this, run this command, I'll show you what happens. So it opens an interface, a chat interface such as chat GPT is wherein we can pass our messages and in turn the chatbot or the AI assistant will give us response. So currently I will write hi, I am Saurav. So you see since we do not have any background LLM currently set up in our conversational environment, it is simply returning whatever that I have passed as input and it says that chainlit installation is now working. Okay, let us head back here and we shall import certain libraries such as the chainlit library from Langchain, we shall import Hugging Face Hub, Prompt Template, LLM Chain. And just as we did in our previous video, we shall use the guest, guest pass in order to set our Hugging Face API token. I have already set this here. And as you know, that when you set this Hugging Face API token here, these appear in the form of these asterisks or dots in order to keep it private. Okay. The prompt template is one of the elements of Langchain which is necessary for building applications based on large language models. We talked of prompt templates in the last video. If you haven't checked that earlier video, I'll attach the link in the i link above as well as in the description. Make sure to check it after watching this video. Now this prompt template defines how the model should interpret the user's question and in what context it should answer them. So using the prompt template, you can instruct your model as to how it should answer the queries that you pass. Okay. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to set our conversational model. So for this, we can use any number of models that are available under the Hugging Face Hub. If you go to the model section under Hugging Face. So currently, we are going to use a text generation model because Langchain supports text generation models with Hugging Face as an interface. So let us quickly click on text generation here and you see there are number of models that are already existing here that you could use. Okay, I'll sort this based on the most downloads and you'll see some of these models that have been used frequently. So Taiyue Falcon 7B is a model which is having 7 billion parameters and since we are running this on a CPU and for the purpose of this particular ex explainable uh, tutorial, what we are going to use, we are going to use a smaller model in order so that it runs faster. So we are going to use a version of GPT-2. GPT-2, we currently we are using GPT-2 medium based model, which has around 355 million parameters. Certainly the results when using with Falcon based model, a model having higher number of parameters will give you a much better result, much more relevant result as compared to this GPT-2 based model. Okay. You can play around with these models and get your own results here. So currently I'm using GPT-2 and I'm creating a conversational model by passing the Hugging Face API token. I am passing this repo ID, the model ID that is there and I'm setting the parameters for this model. So I'm setting the temperature as 0.8 and number of new tokens or maximum number of new tokens as 200. So this temperature ranges between 0 to 1. 0 means you get completely deterministic output whereas 1 means you get uh, non-deterministic outputs or probabilistic based outputs. So the scale makes sure that the model, the output that is returned by the model is probabilistic. Okay. We are going to create a prompt template here. In this template we are specifying that it is an helpful AI assistant that makes stories by completing the query provided by the user. Okay. And we pass this in the prompt template, we specify the input variable query. So this is the query that is the input variable and we need to specify it here. This is the template that we set. 
we create a conversational chain using the LLM chain. We pass a conversational model, our prompt and verbose as true. So I already ran this and I specified the initial query as once upon a time in 1947. Since our GPT-2 based model is going to complete the story, it provide, presented us with the story as the American public discovered that they had been lied to by a television network. They called it Fox News effect and soon enough they began to believe that the world was full of in invisible entities called thieves. So you see that our model has done a pretty good job of creating a story based on the initial prompt that we provided. So in this way you can play around and create your own prompts, create your own, process your own queries and see the results accordingly. Right? You can use other models or more advanced, more complex models and get even more relevant results with it. Now, now you get to understand the working of this LLM conversational chain, the LLM based model. Let us create a chatbot interface. So in order to create a chatbot interface, we are going to use Chainlit. Chainlit is a Python package to create UI for chat interface applications. And in order to use it, we need to use the decorator from Chainlit for Langchain. So I have already created an application here. Okay, this is the application that I already created here using Chainlit. I'll attach the link in the description as to how you should use Chainlit and uh, the documentation related to Chainlit. Go ahead and check it out. This is the environment that Chainlit provides. Okay. Now, because we are going to create a new environment with this, I'll close the original e existing environment here. I'll close this because our port numbers can get mismatched here. So I'll close the existing one and we'll create a new one here. So chatbot demo.py. Now you see in this particular chatbot or chatbot application that we developed here, what we are providing, we are providing the model ID, the conversational model, just as we created previously. We provide the template. All the things remain the same. We will create a conversational chain under LLM chain. We provide the conversational model, the prompt and the verbose. What differs here is how we use chainlit for the purpose. So for using this chainlit, we use this decorator at cl.onchatstart and at cl.onmessage. So these are the two decorators that we are going to use and on chat start is the starting point or the entry point to your chat application. So here you specify your LLM chain, you specify the user session dot set, you give a name of this user session and you pass this LLM chain here. And on message which is the response or is the action that will be taken every time a message is passed on the console or the conversational chat interface. Okay, so for this, we shall call our LLM chain that we already set in the user session. We are going to get the response as LLM chain dot a call. A call is the asynchronous call. Okay, we are using asynchronous Langchain callback handler. Here we can perform certain post processings on the response that we receive, and then we pass the message to our interface again. Okay, so the message that we are receiving from the user based on which we perform the action or perform the computation and then pass it back to a conversational bot. So using this, let me run this up. Okay. Now in order to execute our chatbot application, we shall run chainlit run, provide the file name chatbot demo.py hyphen w hyphen w specifies that whether you want to reload the application as and when you make changes to your script, right? It will automatically reload it. And then additionally, I will specify the port. So I will specify the port as 8080. Okay. It will ask for the password. I will specify my hugging face API token. The hugging face API token that you can uh, find from the hugging face portal. You can create your API token here. We saw this in the last lecture as well. Okay. Now once you run this, you see that your application is now available at your localhost 8080. So let me go over and open localhost 8080. So here I will type, hi, I am Saurav. So the chatbot now responds, I am a software engineer interested in developing high performance software for machine learning, AI translation. I've been a software engineer since 2009. You can follow me. It just generates some response here. How can you help me? 
it just takes some time to load and as and when you use larger models it will take a lot more time in terms of computing the response since we are using a gpt2 based model the responses are a little quicker here so the best way to get started is to send me a message with a link to your site once i get a review then i will send you the link to review so it provides certain response so one of the things that you will find here is this particular chatbot that we have built lacks context right it does not lack it does not have the context based on the previous conversations that we had in order to have the context of the previous con conversations we need to use something known as a conversation right a memory conversation so for that we have the conversational buffer conversational buffer memory and then conversational let me show you just give me a minute yeah there, there are two types of memory in lang chain conversation buffer memory and conversation buffer window memory i'll provide the link in the description you can read about it we shall discuss it in detail in another video in order to keep things simpler here and let us go step by step if you like the content give it don't forget to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss a video stay on top of your learning have a smooth learning experience bye bye jai hind see you in the next lecture